Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am going to pull myself up here on my iPad. How is everybody tonight? Here we go, I see Nadine coming in. Yay! It is a beautiful Sunday here in Menasha. Did you guys, did anybody get caught on the daylight savings time thing? That usually happens to me <laughs> where I like forget about that, whatever it is. I can't even remember. It's jump ahead, fall behind, jump ahead, right? So Steve used to always tease me about it because I dreaded the jump ahead one, right? The one where you have to wake up earlier. But now since I'm self-employed, it doesn't really have a lot of effect on me <laughs> because I still stay up super late and I still get up when I get up most of the time. On Monday mornings, I do have a schedule that I have to get up for. I do training calls on, on every other Monday morning. So yeah, I'm sorry for you guys that have to get up an hour earlier. Ugh, so hard. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Lola. Welcome. I'm going to switch out my glasses here so I can see better. So this weekend, if you saw my Facebook page, we got to go see a maple syrup operation. It was pretty cool. Um, my good friend Cindy and her husband Jim, which I'm also friends with, they hunt with us. And um, Cindy's also on my team and has been for a long time. So they live over by my mom, and we went to my mom's house this weekend. So they invited us over because they're um, they're... Their trees are tapped and they are making maple syrup. So we went out in the woods and um, got to see how they collect everything and all the lines from tree to tree so that the sap goes into a bucket. Yeah, Darlene's asking if I enjoyed my syrup tour. Oh, yeah. Um, and then they took us back to the Sugar Shack, which is where they make all the maple syrup. And what an operation. Like, um, back in the, uh, a few years ago... <laughs> dating myself now um they used to just have a great big huge pan and they just poured the sap in there and they just kept cooking it down and cooking it down and cooking it down until it was maple syrup well now they have this machine that'll take the water content out of the sap so that you don't have to cook it as long it just makes it a lot more efficient so it's all like um scientific now and uh, if you guys went through the pictures did you see all the little notches on the windowsill as soon as we walked into the sugar shack, Cindy was telling us what everything was. And then when we got over to that windowsill with, with all the markings on it, she goes, and that's Jim's computer. And she just kept going. She never missed a beat. It was hysterical. That's her husband's way of keeping track of stuff because he doesn't do computers. <laughs> Judy wants to know if I had pancakes and syrup. As a matter of fact, Judy, we did. Um, not at the sugar shack, but I come from a family of amazing breakfast. Like all the time I was growing up and all through the years, when we go to my mom's house, we have a heck of a breakfast and it's always homemade. There's no Bisquick pancakes. Makes me shudder. We have homemade buttermilk pancakes. We have homemade waffles where you separate the eggs out and you mix in the flour and the, and the sugar and the, all the things. And I, I like to make waffles too. Um, but we have homemade pancakes and homemade waffles with real maple syrup and real butter. And today we had ham. Yesterday we had bacon. It's just like breakfast is our meal at my mom's house. So it's pretty cool. Yes. Um, we had a great time. We, uh, I took Haley and Jared and Val with us. And oh my gosh, I had so much fun with Val. Haley's getting a little jealous. <laughs> Val's kind of taken quite a liking. To her granny. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, fix my poor blinds, I saw somebody say. They're not poor. They're kind of brand new. <laughs> Thank you for that. It is kind of distracting, right? But yeah, we had a really good weekend. And then one of the other things that we do when we go to my mom's house, well, she, you know, she lives out in the middle of nowhere. 
and um, there's not a lot to do there. We just kind of hang at the house, but we always at dusk, we go drive around the block and the block is like, I don't know how many miles, it's quite a ways, but we go drive around the block, we call it, and we look for deer and we saw well over a hundred deer Saturday night, so that was fun. Saturday afternoon, we went out for lunch after we took our maple syrup tour and took my mom to lunch. That was nice. And then Jared, he got a new game for his PS4 um, player. I think it's a PS4. I'm pretty sure it's a PS4. He got a new game for it, and it's called Knowledge is Power. If you guys have PS4s, this is a totally fun trivia game. And it's funny, and it's fun, and we had so we had such a good time. We played it like a lot while we were there. So, and everybody could play it. Like even the little kids sat with an adult and they got to, you know, participate. So it's not like it's super duper hard, but it was pretty fun. Anyways, knowledge is power. PS4. Very, very fun. I said to Haley, oh God, now I'm going to have to get a PS4 player. <laughs> oh, and Steve, Steve, had, he stayed home. He was going to go um, help his mom with some stuff and trim her pear tree. He trimmed our pear tree on Friday, and he got sawdust in his eye, and it really hurt, and it made his vision blurry, and his eye was all goofy. So, hi, Cindy. Um, he did not go to his mom's house. He stayed home, and instead, he was shopping online. Hmm. He gives me such a hard time about the Amazon boxes that are arriving, and uh, he bought himself a beach bike. Yeah, it's kind of funny looking, but I don't know. He he didn't need a new bike, but he bought himself a beach bike. And he also bought himself some more equipment for the garage, his gym that he's he's made out in the garage. He has set up a whole pulley system that pulls up a weight that he has strapped to a cord. It's like one of those round weights like you would put on the end of barbells. He's got a whole thing going on out there. You could do this, and you could do this, and you could do this, and whatever. I might start tomorrow. <laughs> or maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, thanks, Jenny. Thank you so much for the share, you guys. Make sure you're clicking on that share button right now. That really helps me grow my business, and I do appreciate it. Um, we are going to... Oh, I got to give you a John update. Um, there's not really much happening with John. I did see John today and said hi to him. He was coming home from someplace, I don't know where, in his new truck. And um, Steve is a little irritated with the whole new truck thing. Because John only had two vehicles in his driveway before. And now he has three. He's got his new truck, his wife's car, whatever it is. And then his work van. And... He keeps parking the work van at the end because that's the thing that has to get out first, right, to go to work. And he's blocking Steve's view of everything. Steve can't see Diana Wayne's house and he's really getting rather annoyed by it. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to have a chat or not. I told him no. <laughs> yeah, so anyways... Um, what do I have to fill you in on? Um, for those of you that have registered for the spring virtual retreat, yay you! I've been working really hard on it. My helper Kathy was here and she's been die cutting and um, embossing and doing all the things that we need to do to get all of the card packets together. Um, I am full on the spring retreat, but my friend Barb has a couple packets left. So if you didn't register yet and you would like to, please contact me and I will forward you to Barb and you can get on, on the retreat. The retreat is, let me look at my calendar. The retreat is March 27th. It's going to be going on all day long. It is virtual. We're going to be holding it on a private Facebook group. If you have registered for the retreat but have not yet joined the private Facebook group, you need to do that, okay? You should have gotten a welcome email with all the information and a link to that private Facebook group. But it's going to be a whole bunch of fun. I guarantee it. So, um, the only other, th well, I got other things going on. But one of the other things, I'm going to close my computer because it's distracting me. One of the other things that I have going on is the, oh, I can't do that because then my screen up top, oh, there it is. Well, hang on. I'm a little discombobulated. I have another monitor now. 
which has been just a really big help for me because I jump back and forth between windows and you guys know I don't have a good memory so I can't remember what I was supposed to bring over here. Ugh, it's just a whole thing. But um, I have the welcoming window kit class. We are going to be making a card with the welcoming window bundle tonight and I'm really excited to share it with you. I have sad news about it, however. I lost one of my dies. We'll talk about it. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. But I think I'm going to have my helper bring over her die set because I need to make the cards for this kit. <laughs> yeah. Not cool. Anyways. Um, so glad you could join us, Sharon, that just hopped out of the shower. <laughs> That's the first thing I did today when I got home. We slept in my summer home. And um, Haley fell in love with the queen size bed because I let her and Jared and the baby sleep in the bedroom. And I slept out on the little fold out couch thing. And she really fell in love with the bed. Do they, they only have a full-size bed. And she's like, oh, my God, we're so crowded, da-da-da. And, uh, yeah. Um, somebody just asked if I know when the Strawberry Builder Punch will be off back order. I think it's supposed to come in uh, this week, the 15th, the week of the 15th. But um, we've seen some things that were supposed to come in on this date, and then they're getting pushed back a week. And I don't know. I think this one's already been pushed. So I'm hoping, we're hoping that it'll arrive. And again, COVID, you know, it's really messing with um, shipping and shipping is backed up. So when it gets into port, they have so much stuff to go through that it's it's just been a huge problem. So um, Chris, that's about as much as I know is the 15th. I believe that was the date. If somebody else knows different, let me know. But um, I didn't check the calendar for the, the inventory report today. So just so you know, I wonder why my screen is getting dark. That's really weird. I'm going to turn on some more lights here. Let me get let me get everything loaded up here. I've got lots of lights going on. Woo! Okay. Um, so anyways, I have a welcoming window kit. It is $47. Um, I'll show you all the stuff that it includes when we get to making the card that we're going to make tonight. But one of the things I'm excited about is it... One of the, one of the things I'm including in the kit is a new chamois because I think... We've had our chamois long enough that we maybe need a new one. They don't wear out, I don't think. I've never worn one out, but it sure looks pretty crappy. <laughs> okay, who just asked me? Nancy just said, Kelly, hang on. Did the welcome email for the retreat come from you or Dina or Barb? Because I'm going to have to... If you, if you, it came through, it came from whomever you registered with, Nancy. That's a good question. But um, do a search for my name and your emails, and you should find it. If you don't have it, just pop me an email, and I'll send it to you. Sometimes, who knows what happens with the internet, right? Sometimes it's just crazy. So, um, I'm super excited for Little Miss Molly today because her and her family took off tonight at 5.30 for Florida. And Molly's never flown before, so Steve took them to the airport and said that Molly was really nervous. I'm like, oh, for Pete's sakes. Don't be nervous. Be excited for the journey. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. But um, I'm sure it'll be fine. They're really looking forward to this vacation. They've never um, they've never done this before. So, and who just said that? Sharon, thanks for answering so many questions. Oh, you're very welcome, Sharon. <laughs> no problem. That's what I'm here for, right? Okay. I have winners from last week. I love, I love giving stuff away. And first off, we're going to have the gold glitter enamel dots. These are just absolutely beautiful. You can actually color them with your Stampin' Blends and make them, you know, darker colors. So that's pretty fun. And they still glitter. So that's really pretty. Um, yeah, so Bonnie just said that she didn't receive the welcome email. Um, yeah, just email me. I'll send it off. When I get done here tonight, I'll go look through my emails. I'm pretty caught up on those, so it shouldn't take me long. Uh, Marlene says the lights are reflecting my glasses. Yes, they are. There's nothing I can do about that. I have to have light here and I wear glasses. So I don't know. Okay. So our winner for commenting last week is Mary Stroman of Arbor Vitae, Wisconsin. You have these on their way and I do have your address, Mary Stroman. So congratulations. Next up for sharing the video. There's a separate drawing for sharing the video. Um, Sharon wants to know when I go live on Facebook right now. Is that what you mean? Or do you mean for the retreat? If you're talking about the retreat, there's a whole schedule. Okay, so I'm glad you're asking that. 
If you go to the private Facebook page, for those that have registered for the retreat, click on announcements. You can click on photos, you can click on files, click on announcements and you'll see a whole schedule for the retreat. There's times for just about everything. Bingo Friday night, that's going to be a lot of fun. Prizes, there's going to be prize patrols all day Saturday um, at various times. Barb, Dina, and I are each going to go live in that group at some time on that schedule. Um, there's going to be 12 classes posted on there throughout the day. It's just going to be a whole bunch of fun, you guys. Okay, for sharing the video, I have this beautiful, precious parcel card kit. And this is going out to Jean Hoffman. And Jean, I do not have your address. So if you could please get that to me, I would love to put this in the mail to you. It is a beautiful, beautiful kit. This is from um, a couple years ago during celebration. I don't know if it has a year on here or not. I don't think so. But it was so highly sought after that it sold out really quick. And I just happened to have some. So, yay. All right, next up. For placing an order. There's another drawing for placing an order. And um, Virginia Helps of Sheboygan Falls, Wisconsin. This doesn't look like much, but it's a lot. <laughs> Virginia, this is a Botanical Prince product medley, and I just happened to find it when I was cleaning out my office. I believe this was about $70. Yeah, and I want it out of here. So, it's on its way to you tomorrow morning. You are going to love this. If you guys have ever seen any of our product medleys, you know that they have a stamp set, and dies, and designer paper, and ribbon, and Oh my gosh, they're absolutely gorgeous. So I'm happy to give this away. And let me set this stuff where it won't get lost in here in all the chaos that is about to happen. <laughs> I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the um, welcoming window first, the welcoming window card, I should say, first. And then I've got some pretty spring colored cards to share with you. Oh. You guys, don't let me forget, I forgot last week to show you my mail that I got. And I have um, some gifts that I need to show that are like, whoa, really cool. So don't let me forget to show my mail. And when I, when I get done with these cards, the cards that I'm going to make for you tonight, I have a whole bag of swap cards to share with you. Don't let me forget. I get so like, I don't know, I just go in a zone and I forget my mind, I just lose my mind. So, okay, I'm gonna unpack my little bin here. And remember, if you have a specific question and I don't answer it, it's because I didn't see it. I get this much room on my phone to see your, que your questions or comments coming through. So just know that. I appreciate all your comments and your questions, but if I don't answer your question, touch with me and the best way to do that is to email me lly at a stamp above dot com okay um, email is the best way if you go to my business page on Facebook and you leave a comment in there ask a question in there it's it's not something that I remember to check frequently like I do my email I'll get to it but email is a better a better way to ask a question that you need an answer to Good way to put it, right? Okay, I am ready to, are, are we ready to stamp? Are we ready to go? I think I'm ready. I am ready to turn this puppy around and show you all the goodies for this really pretty, I just made this card today when I got home. Like I just like, oh, I wanna make a card with that and there it is. So, yay, yay me. Sometimes it goes like that, sometimes not so much. <laughs> Did I get a new phone? Carrie wants to know. No, I did not get a new phone. Um, somebody told me that the reason why my phone is overheating is because the battery is going dead. And I do need to get a new battery. But what I did do, I'm going to touch it right now. Yeah, it's warm. Um, is I put the fan up here that Mary Lynn gave me. And I turned that fan on and it's blowing right on my phone to keep it from overheating. We have to do. I see we're freezing up now too, so that's great. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll try to get through it. <laughs> Stephen Edmondson is ready for tiny unicorns and or tiny hands and magical unicorns. Yep, Stephen, 
I do not want to disappoint anybody. So these have been a huge hit. And um, I sent Dina and Barb each a pair. And it's kind of interesting the, you know, a lot of people just get a kick out of them like we do. They're funny. Okay. Mm. But um, it's very interesting the nasty comments that you get too. So um, if you don't like the tiny hands, it's okay. You don't have to leave nasty comments with anybody. You don't have to tell me or Dina or Barb that you don't like them. You just kind of let it go. This is my show, and I will do the tiny hands if I want to. <laughs> yes, Barb painted her fingernails on her tiny hands, and it's just something fun and silly to do. And if you're not into fun and silly, probably not the best channel for you to watch. Just going to say it. <laughs> All right, you guys, hang tight. I'm going to flip you around. Hope I don't disconnect anybody. Here we go. Yay! Let's get the glare out of there. I hate it when things glare. And I know my glasses glare too, but unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. We're going to get this straight. Hang with me. I need to put this cord up someplace. So just hang tight while I get that propped up. Get that out of our vision. Okay, so hang on you guys. One more one more little twist here. I don't want to make anybody throw up. That's not what we're about here. <laughs> All right. This right here is my blog. If you need to get in touch with me, there's all kinds of ways to do that besides emailing me. You just do email kelly at astampabub.com. This is my current host code. And um, if your order is going to be under $150, you use this code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! I want you to have those. But if it's under $150, yay. <laughs> Robin says, why are people so rude? I, you know, I just think people don't use their filter. I don't, I don't think their intention is to be rude. I think they just, uh, you know, there are some people that have to, comment on everything, whether it's a nice comment or a uh, critical comment or whatever. But I just, I really think people don't think about the way that that sounds when you're like, oh, that's ridiculous. It's like, really? Bye-bye. <laughs> Sorry, don't mean to be mean, but don't need that negativity in my life. All right, guys, fine art floral. Why do I have this out here? Well, I use the fine art floral for um, one of my other kit classes, okay? I think the fine art floral kit class. But what I did is I combined it with the welcoming window and I want to use the other sides of the paper, okay? So you've got the fine art floral, the floral sides that match that whole suite of products, right? I wanted to use the other sides because I think we all have this paper well, what are we doing to utilize the prints on the other sides? And I thought, well, this would be a good way to do it, right? So, um, with my um, welcoming window kit class, first of all, the kit is $47. You get a half a pack of the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper cut to four by six. You get some linen thread, and I believe linen thread is on back order right now. And for those of you who may be ordering this kit or ordered it already, I want you to know that I will be holding this kit until I can get that linen thread in here and in the kit with it because it costs me a fortune to send out um, back ordered product after I've sent kits out. So it's just, it's not productive. And I just want to let you know that. Also included with the kit is some rhinestones. You're going to get a, you're going to get a pack of rhinestones. Who doesn't need those? You're going to get a pack of mini dimensionals. And then, like I said, I think it's time for some new chamois, and I'm including a chamois in your kit too. So, yay. All right. You also get a pre cut cardstock pack for eight cards, four different designs. You make two of each, a PDF file filled with photos, written instructions, and exclusive videos for each project. Um, you can also add the welcoming window bundle when you fill out the form. You can say yes or no if you want to add this bundle to your kit order. And it is an additional $58 that does include tax and shipping. And the, um, the bundle will come with your kit. So I do mail out my kit classes priority mail, just so you know. So um, it tends to get there just a little bit faster. It's protected pretty well. So that's a good thing. Okay, 
Who's ready to stamp? I think I'm ready to stamp. Yay! We are going to, let me bring out my cardstock pieces here. Now, because I lost my die, I had to improvise a little bit, but um, I'm gonna show you the sample that I made before I lost my die, so you can see what the die is supposed to look like. <laughs> yeah, it's like, really, Kelly? Yep, that's right. Okay, so here is that designer series paper. And aren't these just beautiful? Uh, these are the sides I'm gonna try and concentrate on for the um, this kit class. And I just think it's kind of neat to have some ideas for the other side of the paper. We are going to be using crumb cake cardstock. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And we're gonna fold it and burnish it. Sharon says the window bundle is awesome. It really is. I've had a lot of fun with it, I have to tell you. I love all the different things you can do with it. Um, Jenny says if you leave it in the case, it does smell, but if you open the case and let it dry out, it won't. Yeah, I've never had any problems with mine. I keep my cases closed. Um, these cases aren't completely airtight, so they will it will dry out eventually, but I'm smelling mine. It doesn't smell like anything. When you first get it, it smells a little bit detergenty, like some type of soap, but after you rinse it out a few times, it doesn't feel like that, and I just take it and Rinse it under the water and squeeze it out, rinse it and squeeze it out, rinse it and squeeze it out, and then I put it in a clear case. So you can order these. You get a set of four of them. They're really inexpensive, like, I don't know, 7 or $8 for a set of four, something like that. But this is how I store mine. Okay, crumb cake. Back to our card. Did I do this? I don't remember. <laughs> We're going to try it again. Um, yeah, Lisa Nealon says hers never smells. Mine doesn't either. I've never had that problem. All right, we've got a Whisper White envelope, and I think as long as we're right here, we're gonna grab that. And I'm gonna add some glue to the edge. And this is a two and a half by six inch piece of the Designer Series paper, the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper. This is just gonna make a really pretty little envelope for us. You're going to use the back of the envelope, the flap, to cut that off. So I've been watching, um, I'm big on, I'm a big Snapchat user. I love Snapchat. You guys have seen me do crazy things with the filters. I think they're hysterical. But I use Snapchat a lot, and I've been watching my friend. She lives in Madison. She and her friend just left for Belize because her sister lives there. And they're in Belize, and I've been watching their beach videos and pictures all day long and I'm just so jealous. Oh, I want to go to Belize. <laughs> okay, so this is the pattern of the paper that I am going to use for our card. Isn't that just beautiful? It's absolutely gorgeous. This is the other side, but we're going to be using this side. And then I've got a whisper white layer that is four by five and a quarter. We've also got a whisper white scrap We've got another scrap of crumb cake and a scrap of basic black. Um, Jean says, don't use soap on your chamois. If soap doesn't isn't rinsed out, hang on, I gotta read that. Completely, your chamois will smell. Oh, well that's interesting. I don't use soap. Some people do use soap on theirs and I've, I've not heard any problems, so. All right, who says only two comes in an order? Kathy, only two what? Um, there's four cases. You get four clear cases when you order cases. I'm positive about that. So, okay. I don't know. All right. Next up, we are going to take, well, let's get the inside of our card stamped up. You guys know I like to do that, right? We're going to be using, oh, where'd my memento black go? Hang on. I put it in my other bin for our other cards tonight. We're going to be using memento black ink. Let me make sure that I'm in my frame. And, okay, so I already made a Mother's Day card. There's a beautiful Mother's Day um, sentiment in here. There's 19 different stamps in this welcoming window set. I already made a Mother's Day card. So I think, oh, you know what, though? I need another one. I was going to do a birthday card, but I think I'm going to make another Mother's Day card because I need a Mother's Day card for my mother-in-law, too. I love her dearly. 
and of course I want to make her a pretty card. So Memento Ink, hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day and I really do love that font. I, You guys know I'm a big font person. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the bricks and I've got Flirty Flamingo Ink here and I'm going to ink up my bricks, stamp them off once, and then I'm just going to put them kind of like a little afterthought in the background of my sentiment layer. How about if we just do that? That looks pretty cool. Boom, boom, boom. Should we do one more up here? I'm thinking we should. Let's just do that. There we go. Kind of cool looking, right? Um, I did try it without stamping the bricks off and it just got too dark. So know that you do need to stamp them off. Okay, we're gonna add this to the inside of our card right away, and then we're gonna get on to the front, which is where all the fun happens. <laughs> Linda says she liked Belize. We cruised to Belize too. Be right before Corona lockdown, we went on a cruise that took us to Belize. You went on that same one, right? Belize and Honduras and someplace in Mexico. It was absolutely phenomenal. All right, now this piece we're gonna take and put on the front of our card. And I really like this color with the crumb cake. I just think it's kind of, it tones it down a little bit. And I don't know. A little shabby chic maybe. I just like it. Okay, we're going to set that aside. We're going to get out. Oh, we have some stamping to do on here too. So this is really fun. I've got pear pizzazz. Whoops, let me see if I can open up an ink pad. Pear pizzazz and... Flirty Flamingo. Kathy says only two comes in an order. Did we figure out what that was? I missed it. Sorry, you guys take care of it. <laughs> I know you will. I know you'll help me. Oh, somebody lost somebody. And I totally missed that. I'm so sorry. Darn it. You're Oh, uh, I lost my 95-year-old mother-in-law. I am so, so sorry for that. Doggone it. Diana, that's not good. Oh, well, you know, 95 is pretty darn, had a good life, I'm assuming, because that's an awesome age, right? We're taking our picture here, and we're going to stamp that on our white. And look at, I love the watercolor look. Do you guys love that look? I think it's so, so pretty. Then, we're going to take, hmm, I'm going to take the flowers. There's two different, um green foliage. One has um, round leaves on it and the other one has like some ferny type leaves. I'm going to take the ferny type leaf one and I'm going to stamp that on our scrap also with Pear Pizzazz ink. And then you have to figure out which flowers go with which one. So we've got this set of flowers and we've got this set of flowers. So I think it's this one. Yep. All you do is kind of set it down on here and see where the little holes are for the flowers. So I'm going to stand up. I might get kind of loud now. I'm going to stand up. Is that the right way? Hang on. Nope, this is the right way. And make sure that my flowers go into the little spots for them. Flirty Flamingo ink with that. Okay. Next up, we are going to get out our dies. So there is a die that cuts out these flowers, okay? And what I really recommend you do is take a little bit of washi tape. I've got some low-tech artist tape here and I don't have sleeves on, but put it on your clothes a couple times or peel your dead skin off your hands, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so gross. Um, and hold this in place. And that's, that's how I do it. I'm gonna do that, get your hair out of it. <laughs> Then we have the picture, okay? We're gonna glue that down. We're gonna die cut those, so hang tight. Then we're gonna bring in this black scrap. Oh, that's missing too, you guys. So, oh no it isn't, it's right here. So you have two of these dies, and these are the little, um, like the hardware for your shutters on the windows. So we're gonna die cut a set of those, you get four, in each one, and look at, you get two sets of them, so you can cut out eight shutter hardwares at a time. I'm sure that wasn't the way it should have been said, but whatever. 
you know what I mean. Okay, so we're gonna die cut that. Then we're gonna bring in this um, crumb cake scrap. We're gonna die cut that. We're gonna die cut a couple of these. Oh my good lord, you guys, I didn't lose it. It's right here. I thought it was two separate pieces and I like searched everywhere. Like, I'm like, are you kidding me? There might have been naughty words said. This is what I was looking for, okay? Hinges, yes, the hinges. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Donna. Okay, so we're gonna die cut that. Um, let me look here. I gotta keep looking to see what else do I need to die cut. Then there's like this little shelf or window box. You can make it whatever you want. We're gonna die cut that. So we're gonna run all of these through. And you know what? I need this because I, I lost it while I was making my stuff. So hang on. Let me get this die cut. I'll show you why I thought I lost it. I was looking for two pieces, just like these two pieces. This is different. And here my die was there all the time. Hello. <laughs> okay, so you can see that these have um, texture in them, like wood, wood grain, which is really cool. And then I already pre-cut the rest of this stuff. And I'll show you what I did with all of these. Where did my little bin go right here. Okay, I think we're done with this. Let me close this up. So today when I got home from my mom's house, I went right in the shower. And then Steve was very proud to tell me that he made more taco meat. So that's what I had for supper. What did you guys have for supper tonight? I had tacos. You know what I started doing? This is like a really easy way to eat tacos. You've got, I got a hard shell. And you know how you put all this stuff in it and then you bite it and it all falls apart. It's ridiculous. So instead, I break my shell apart. So it breaks like right in the middle. I lay half of it flat on my plate. I put the meat on. I put the cheese on. I put, I use red and green red and yellow peppers on mine. I love that. I put a couple strips of that on there. I wipe the sour cream on the other shell and then I make a sandwich and eat it like that. It doesn't fall apart. There you go. Try that. <laughs> okay now, you guys, um, these are the shutters and they actually go this way with the roundy thing going that way. So don't put those on there, but here's the shutters. Now these other things are meant for some other things, but they're the die. Where did it go? These dies. They're just, you know, kind of a rectangle. So what I did with mine is I put them on the back of the window. And so I'm going to put a little glue here and here and here and here. Now here we go. And then I'm going to do the oops, same thing over here. Put a little bit of glue right there and here and here and here because this is kind of closes up our window then we're gonna have to trim a little bit off the bottom so now here's our window and we got a little bit of glue in there but see this down here we're just gonna trim that off just a little bit and I know that this is not what these dies are for, but I thought of this and I thought this is gonna do exactly what I need it to do, so why not use it? Okay, so there's our window. Now, our window is going to get glued on the front of our card. So I'm, oops, meh. I'm just gonna glue this down, no dimensionals. I'm just gonna put it about right here. Make sure it's straight. I'm gonna do my shutters eh, about like that. I think I wanna move it over just a little bit. Okay, it's nice and straight. Now, we're gonna take the little um, hinges, thank you again, I think Donna, because <laughs> I call them the hardwares. Yeah, bad English, bad. 
and we're going to put those on just like this. I'm going to kind of hold it up, make sure I got my hinges straight, or my hardwares. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's that redneck coming through. And then we're going to do this one. You just want to space them out wherever you think it looks good. Don't get too crazy with it. Nobody's going to come and measure, but you do want these to look like these. So what I did is I just kind of set them up against each other. And I'm going to turn this around. I got glue on my finger and now it's going to cause me all kinds of grief. Here we go. Just like that. There you go. So I started watching this show that used to be on TV a while ago was Good Girls. And it's really good. I really, I, th I find it interesting and it keeps my attention. Anyways, I didn't know they had a second and a third season. I think I only watched the first season. So I was watching that today. It's pretty interesting. Okay. Now you would think that these should curve down, but they actually go backwards because when you would close this, the curve needs to match this, right? So just, you know, pay attention to that. Otherwise it'll look a little goofy. We're going to take some dimensionals and then Lisa says she loves this bundle. I do too. Lisa, what have you been making with it? I love this thing too. Now you're going to leave a little bit of space in between your window and your shutter. And I put these on dimensionals. Okay, so these are going to be popped up a little bit. Just like you would expect on a real house. Do this. Get that up there fairly close. Okay. Now we have our little, either you could use this as a shelf or a window box, whatever you need suits your purpose. Um, I need to get out my little goodie basket. Here we go. And put some baby dimensionals on this one. I'm going to put them more towards the center like that. And then... Quite good. Okay, look at that. Isn't that cool so far? Now, where did our picture go? Here comes our picture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a dimensional to the back of it, up a little bit, like in the middle. Okay, whoops, just like that. And then I'm going to set this picture so that it's on that shelf. So, see what I've done there? Okay. Then, where did our flowers go? Right here. I'm going to take our flowers, uh, and I think I'm going to use a couple little dimensionals for that. I'm going to put them at the, more towards the top. Okay. And we're going to put this right over our pitcher. This is it, you guys. What do you think? Is that not the cutest little card? Yeah, now you can do anything you wanted here. They also have some pots. You could stamp bricks. You can use the other flowers, this flower instead of that flower. They've got this window that you can stamp. There's also dies to cut it out, dies to cut the window out. They've got this shelf right here and a die to cut that shelf out. Thank you, sending sunshine for a beautiful birthday. Hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day, my sweet friend, and welcome. This would be a great set to get and um, give to new neighbors, right? Welcome. And it's, it's kind of a house. So there we go. Kit class. I am going to start um, putting those kits together tomorrow. I usually make up a few extras. So if you'd like to order the kit class, you'll find it on my blog. Just go down until you see online classes. Okay, let me get this put away. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have my same old, same old strawberry lemonade. 
Oh, when I have little leftover pieces like this, I just put them in with the stamp set or my dies because I can use them for something else. Look at all these things that I cut. I was going to do white window at first, and then I decided to go with the crumb cake, and it really kind of makes the flowers and the picture pop a little bit better. Store-bought cheesecake. Oh, that sounds good to me. Mm. Oh, I didn't get to have my mom's dessert this weekend. She made this dessert where she dissolved gelatin and put it in a dish with I don't know what else. And I can't remember what else she was going to do to it, and they never even got any. That makes me sad, but she did make chocolate torte, and I had two pieces of that. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> oh, hi, Donna Gray. Happy to see you. Okay. We're going to put this away. I'll leave this sit out here so you can look at how pretty that is. <laughs> oh, I'm getting things put away. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Okay, next card. Oh, here comes our goodies for our next one. Whoops, look at Look at, here's a die I missed, for Pete's sakes. This die set is gonna kill me. I'm gonna be so mad if I lose something now that I found that. <laughs> that was never lost to begin with. Okay. Here we go. Now, I said I had some spring cards I wanted to share with you. And what I decided to do today was to go over to my shelf. I got a bookshelf over there. It's been a long time since I used a stamp set off the bookshelf because I keep all of my mini catalog stuff over here in a cabinet. So I decided to grab something that I haven't used in a long time and give it a little bit of love. So that's what I did here. And... Get all my layers out, ready to roll. So I chose the Parcels and Petals. This set of dies goes along with it, and it's called Perfect Parcel Dies. And one of the cool things that's in here is it makes a little box. So that's really fun when you have a set of dies that'll make a box for you. I just always love that. It was highly popular in the, in the I think, last year's mini catalog. But like I said, now it's in the spring, or it's in the annual catalog. Okay. We're going to get all of our layers out here. And I actually wanted to make, I got, I got a So Saffron one done that I'll show you when we're finished here. But I also wanted to make a Highland Heather one. And I didn't quite get that done before it was time for me to go live. So we'll put that together here so you can see all three pretty spring colors. All right. I am, <laughs> Nancy says she's glad it wasn't lost. Me too, Nancy. This is our thick, Basic white cardstock. I think I called the other cardstock Whisper White. It's basic white. It's our new cardstock. This is five and a half by eight and a half. I've already scored it at four and a quarter. Ta -da -da. Summer salad is cottage cheese with fruit like mandarin oranges and a box of jello mixed in it for color. Oh, I love that stuff, Lois. Oh, love it. Got a scrap of basic white. I've got a four by five and a quarter inch piece of Calypso Coral. And then I've got um, um, a stitch shaped circle. And this is the second from the largest one. So I love the fonts in these words. And these flowers are watercolor looking and just gorgeous. So what I did is we're gonna make the Calypso Coral card. We're going to take our Memento ink and I'm making birthday cards. Oh, and by the way, I took the big box of birthday cards that I've made so far, Get Well, Sympathy, and Birthday Cards, and also the box that Terry Mullinex sent. And I took that to my mom this weekend and she was thrilled. And I meant to take a picture of her with her box of cards, but I forgot. I think that being um, granny all weekend really does kind of drain your brain a little bit. <laughs> okay, now I've got this beautiful floral image. And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to stamp it so that my sentiment is kind of in the middle of the flowers on my little circle. And just look how pretty. Isn't that just beautiful? I love this. Okay. 
Now, we're gonna clean that with our chamois. And I'm going to add some pearls. Okay, hang on, I gotta see what I'm doing here. Where did my sample card go? Oh, right here, okay. Oh, I bent my envelope flap. Oh, I know, I shouldn't have cleaned that yet. We need to do envelopes too. Maybe we'll do those when we're done. All right, um, I shouldn't have cleaned it. Let's grab the flowers again, Calypso Coral Ink because we need to stamp a little something on the inside of our card. Now, if you have an inside sentiment for birthdays or whatever you choose to make this, this would be a beautiful get well card too. Um, by all means, stamp some words in here, but I'm just gonna leave mine. Clean this off again. Oh, because, so I can ink it up again for the envelope. Good Lord, Kelly. Pay attention. There we go. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Let me hold that up for you. I just love these. I think they're they're just so pretty. Okay. Now we're going to take this four by five and a quarter inch layer and we're going to run it through the Subtles embossing folder. And can you see here that I have an older Subtles embossing folder? And I put a piece of tape on here and put that I only use one clear plate on top of it. If you have an older one, that's what you do with yours. If you buy a newer one, you use the, um, the um, alternate plate that comes with the new stamp and die and cut machine. Okay, so once we get done with that, this is what our layer looks like. It's got that beautiful, subtle pattern running through it. We're going to take that we've got a scrap of basic white the dies for let me get this close up the dies for um, this set have this pretty floral image in there and what I did is I die cut this a couple times and that's going to give you these floral images so I've got two of those here what I'm gonna do with that is I'm just gonna, you could take your sponge and put your glue on it. I've shown you guys how to do that. You could actually use the, um, the adhesive backed paper to make this whole thing a sticker if you wanted to. But I am going to just add some glue to the bigger spots on the back of this. I'm gonna put this about right here, okay? Now we're gonna take this piece and we only need just a little bit of it. So I'm gonna cut it just like that. And I'm gonna just add some glue to the big backs where there's a little bit more room to put a little dot of glue. Um, Lori, the gray plate that I have is a little too thick. And anytime you go to use your die cutting machine, this, because this embossing folder is thicker than our embossing folders are now. That's why, because this is older. That's why the gray plate wouldn't work. Mine is older, it's a thicker embossing folder. And what happened is Stampin' Up! had to discontinue their contract or association with Sizzix. And when they did that, they can't just take their embossing folders that Sizzix manufactured for them, they have to change them. It's the law. So that's what happened. It's just a whole big law. Um, but that's why we have different sizes, because there was a change in manufacturers. Okay, now I'm looking for my dimensionals. Does anybody see the regular sized ones? I don't know what I did with them. Hang on. Oh, I have two million minis here. I don't know where they went. Here they are. Okay, we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of the circle. And pick these off. Okay. Now I'm going to put this right here. 
super easy, very cheerful, bright, colorful. Now, since I use an embossing folder on this layer, I like to make sure that I get my glue all the way around the outside edge. Otherwise, it'll buckle a little bit, right? Because you've done, you've altered your paper. So here comes the card front. Let's see if I can get this on here. Oh, that looks pretty straight. Isn't that just pretty? It's just a very pretty, easy card. Then we've got our envelope here to match. Now, I also have my purple one that I started but didn't get finished. So we're going to finish that. So hang with me here. And again, I've die cut that floral image. And I'm just going to put a little glue on here and add this to the same place on my card. And then this piece was the one that we cut cut off of. I'm just going to trim this a little bit because we only need that little bit out here. So you can actually make two cards with one and a half, well, two and a half of these, this die. So that's kind of cool, right? Thank you guys so much. I see all the hearts coming up. Very pretty card. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's really simple. Um, this is a very easy stamp set to use. I've already stamped my birthday and my flowers on here with Highland Heather ink. So like I said, I was trying to get this done, but then I had to quick run in and run a flat iron through my hair so I don't look like a frizz ball. <laughs> and then I had to run downstairs and fill up my strawberry lemonade. Okay, so what set is it? It's called Parcels and Petals is the set that I'm using. And then the dies, that go along with it are called Perfect Parcel Dies. So this was a bundle in last year's mini catalog, I believe. So it's not bundled together anymore, but the dies do go with the stamp set. You can buy them separately. Okay, so here comes this. Now I forgot to do something to that other card, so hang on while I do that, that little extra something. Um, I already stamped the inside with the Highland Heather flowers, so I had that done too. I know, I was in kind of a panic. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to get this done. And I'm like, you know what? Just relax, Kelly. You can finish it up with your people. Because <laughs> I do like stamping with my people. Okay. That stamp set um, is still current. Uh, whoever's looking for the happy Easter, happy spring, happy, happy everything, I believe that is still current. I've got a swap card to share with you that uses that. Okay, so now here's my envelope, and I want to make sure that I have a matching envelope. So I'm going to use the flowers again with Highland Heather ink, and I'm just going to stamp that like that. So pretty, right? And then I've also told you I have a So Saffron card to share with you. Where'd my, who knows where my chamois went? Right here. So I have to clean this again. Make sure that's good and clean before I put it in the yellow. And we're going to take our wrinkled envelope. This one got bent a little bit. Mm. To be more careful. And we're going to do So Saffron. 75 of my people's Tina says yay well, it's actually it's 565 she said yeah okay here we go and Mary says the settles folder is her absolute favorite you know what Mary I use it quite frequently myself because it's just that little subtle something and it's such a pretty pattern okay hang on because we have one more thing to do to all of our beautiful cards. We are going to bring this one back in and we're going to add these pearls. I haven't used pearls in a long time. So I thought it was about time I got my pearls out and I'm taking the little teeny weeny ones and adding them to those flowers. What do you guys think of that? Is that not just really? Yeah, that really does a lot. Okay. So there's our Highland Heather. Let's get some pearls on our Calypso Coral. These just scream spring to me. Spring, summer, I'm ready for it. Bring it on. 
I know we're going to get some more snowstorms. <laughs> I live in Wisconsin. Yeah. Charlotte says you can always blame the wrinkled envelopes on the post office. You know it. <laughs> so isn't that pretty? And then here comes my So Saffron one. Isn't that pretty? Super simple little layout. Which one do you guys like the best? We've got Highland Heather, Calypso Coral, and So Saffron. Yeah, Judy says that the pearls really set it off. They really do. I was going to use rhinestones, and I thought, no, this is really kind of soft and pretty, and I think that pearls will look really good on here. Okay. The ne Oh, I got to keep this. So the next thing that I wanted to show you guys, what time is it? Okay, it's only 8 o'clock. Are we good yet? Do you guys want to see more? Because I do have something else I'd like to share with you. I don't want to send anybody over the edge. Hi, Colleen Miller. I'm happy to see you on here. Coral, Highland Heather. Love them all. Highland Heather. Yeah, a lot of people are purple fans, right? Purples are just pretty. Okay, let me get my let me get my dye put away there. Okay, so what I thought I would do, you guys, is I would show you how this box dye works. So I'm gonna just set these over to the side. I'll bring them back in before we're finished. And so you can see them again. What I did is I took some Clipso Coral cardstock, and this is five by seven, I believe. Yep, five by seven. You need two pieces. So if you plan on ordering this die set with the stamp set, you're gonna know how to do this. I'm gonna bring in my big machine, the big boss. So we're calling them the big boss and the little boss. Okay. Oh, hang on. I got carried away. First thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp our cardstock, okay? So I made up one of these boxes, but I stamped it after I die cut it, and I recommend that you stamp it first. So that's why I cut it to a certain size so that I would know where to stamp my flowers. And I'm just going to twist and turn this. You don't want this to look real um, uniform, okay? I'm just going to keep moving it around, a little bit off the edge there. There we go. Okay, that looks, that looks great, okay? Then we're going to bring in the other piece because there's, like I said, there's two pieces to this box. This is tone on tone, Calypso Coral on Calypso Coral. There, that looks good too, right? Right, now we're gonna die cut it. Ah, Carol says she can't choose a favorite either. They're all her favorite. They're all beautiful, thank you so much. I thought they were pretty cool too. Okay, um, let me get that out of the way. Now we're gonna bring in the machine. And I wanted to share this special moment with you guys. Only stampers would understand this. <sighs> I have new plates and I'm cracking them open with you. <laughs> oh my gosh, it just feels so nice to have new plates, right? My other ones were getting like pretty crummy. Okay, I wanted to share that special moment with all of you. All right, so I'm going to, I'm putting this on here. I'm just kind of looking at my flowers to see where would be the best placement. And I'm going to die cut this. Are we ready for our maiden plates? It's like virgin plates. Whoo! Here we go. Arr, sorry for the wiggle. There it is. Oh, look how pretty that is, right? Okay, next up, the other piece. And I'm just going to put this in here. So you, you need to die cut two with our virgin plates. Woohoo! It's hard to do it at this angle. It's an awkward angle for me. Okay, look at, oh, so pretty. Look at oh, the first cuts. I know, I'm a little weird. That's okay. 
My um my gym teacher told me that when I was in high school. She said to me, she said, Flynn, you're weird. <laughs> and I said, yes, Mrs. Finney, I know. We were all good. Okay, and we laughed and laughed. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I highly recommend that you use tear and tape. Let me see if I, I could have had another roll out here, but whatever. Anyways, there's all these score lines. So you're just going to fold on the score lines, okay? Oops, I'm going to get my... This one seems to be kind of a little wonky. There we go. Okay, we're going to fold on all the score lines. There's also little tabs. You can see the little tabs right here. You want to fold those. Get those edges burnished nicely. Little burnishing here. And... I'm excited because in about 25 minutes, Anna and Molly and the kids are going to be landing in Florida. And then they're going to start snapping me like a crazy maniac. I just know it. <laughs> I'm looking so forward. I love going on vacation with people through social media. Um, I know sometimes people think like, geez, why is she sharing all her pictures for? But it's because I love to go on vacation with other people. My cousin and his wife are down in... Um, Sarasota right now and they are snapping me like crazy and I am loving every single minute of it I just really enjoy seeing all the pictures and what the family's doing and so on and so forth Okay Now we're gonna use a little bit of tear and tape And we're gonna put it on The tabs So you're gonna turn it over so it's right side up. This is our outside of our box the one that we stamped and we're gonna put a little tear and tape on these tabs on the outside and I'm going to do it on both of them if I can find the end here again and here comes another one. Oh, and you guys guess what else I did my back hurt all weekend because I went up in my attic and I spent, I don't know, an hour and a half in my attic cleaning out one end of it. It was horrendous. Like, I'm like, I know Steve's going to call me a hoarder. <laughs> we threw away old boxes from, you know, 1986 stereo equipment that you might need to send it back. Yeah, that kind of stuff were ridiculous. So I did that and then my back hurt because you can't stand up all the way in our attic. So I, my back was really like, ooh. Okay, I'm peeling off the um, tear and tape. If you have any hanging over the edges, just kind of push it back so that it's on the tab only, okay? Oh, I got my finger down, that's gross. Okay, now we're going to line up the score lines on here on these tabs. That's the most important part is that those score lines are lined up so it folds properly, okay? So we did this one, and now we're going to do this. We're going to bring this in here. I've seen people try to put boxes together, and they hold them up like this, and they do all of this and all that. Just lay it flat and fold it over, okay? That's the easiest way to do it, and it took me years to understand that concept. So if you're one who struggles by holding the box up and trying to get it even and squared up and all the things... And you're going to me right now, oh my lord, that's so easy the way she's doing it. I had that aha moment, aha moment myself a few years ago. Okay, so I'm going to again make sure that that tape is only on my tab, not hanging over the edge. And now we are going to push it down, okay? Just like that. So here's our little box. Now, the other thing that we need to do is we need to, there are a couple tabs. Okay, so this has a score line right here, and then it's got kind of a wonky little notch cut out of it. It's on this side, and it's over here on this side, and this is already scored in a triangle for us. We are going to put um, tape on, I believe, the front of this piece, and if I'm wrong, good Lord, I hope I'm not. We're going to put some tape on the front of that triangle and some tape on the front of this triangle. Please help me if I'm wrong. Let me look at my, my decrepit little box. 
see what I did with that one. Oh, I think I put it on the back of that. <laughs> well, <laughs> let me see if I can get that off. Ooh, I can. I didn't stick it down very good. I think we got to put it on the back. Uh, hang on. Oh, goodness. That was awesome. Don't try this at home, people. <laughs> Somebody will get hurt. I hope this is right now. So if it's not, then I'll be able to tell you to do it the other way. But we're going to put our tear and tape just on that little triangle. Okay. And then just on this little triangle. Okay. Whew. Let's see. Here comes the truth. We'll find out. Now again, I'm just going to push that tear and tape over a little bit so it's not hanging out. And we're going to line up. You're going to square up your corners now. See, there's a little notch out of this edge down here. You want to make sure that this is lined up good. We're going to do the same thing over here. Peel this tape off. There we go. And we're gonna fold that over. Now we're going to, again, square this up with the edge. And I'm gonna put my hand inside and push it down good, okay? So now we've got this kind of going on, which is weird. You're gonna push this down in here until it pops. And you want this triangular edge here and this one here. And then you, hang on, push this up, until, oops, I have that wrong, push this up, there we go, just like that, oops, nope, hang on, There we go. We have half a triangle over here, half a triangle over there. However you can glue the bottom together, just glue the darn bottom together. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, here's what you do with this. There are score lines in the form of a triangle here. So you're going to fold on that score line. See that? See that? Whoops. See that? Let's get down there on the, yep, there we go, just like that, so we end up with this. We're going to do the same thing on the other end. You just fold that down right on the score line, fold it down on the score line. Once you put one of these together, you will totally get it. But now we're going to pinch this over, both of these ends, there's a little half circle here. They both pop those little points into that half circle and that's what holds your box together and isn't that just pretty it's just a real pretty little box you can have a little matching card and envelope cool right now some of the things that are in here and I'm I'm not gonna go through all of this but there's a label in here that you could put on your box um, there's a couple labels in here. You could make a tag out of this. Okay, you just die cut the end. It'll make a tag to tie on your little box. You guys can use your imagination for that. But that's how you do this box. Tucks in right on the ends, just like that, and opens up just like this. The bottom is the only part that's really tricky. Just glue it together. Connie says you are hysterical. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thanks, Connie. <laughs> oh, we have a lot of trolls tonight, you guys. I'm sorry. I've totally missed them. Who's trolling? Hmm. Yeah, just ignore them. Oh, can I give the dimensions of the box? Terry, the box is a die. You just cut out. You just cut out. You use the die to cut it out. So... 
If you wanted dimensions on making the box without the die, you, you can go online any place and just look for a little box like this and get dimensions. I don't know what they would be. But um, if you get the perfect parcel dies, you'll be able to cut out a gazillion of these. And again, make sure that you um, make sure that you stamp first before you do the die cutting of the box because otherwise all these score lines make your stamping look really wonky. It's not attractive at all. That's what I did to my first box and that's why I couldn't quite get a box done because it's like, oh my lord, I'm running out of time. Here's our pretty cards using the Parcels and Petals stamp set and the Perfect Parcel dies. Very pretty. You have this big image too. I didn't stamp anything with it, but you certainly could. There's some leaves in here, another little image, but these beautiful sentiments with the funky fonts. I love them. And then we have our welcoming window card that is so cute with all the dies. This is the one I have a kit class going on right now. now if you guys would like to find out the details on the kit class, you're going to go to my blog. And you can either scroll down the middle of the page and find the um, the online classes button. Click on that and then you'll see welcoming windows on there. You'll find out all the details about this. But somebody's asking me the finished dimensions. This is, this is about one and three eighths by three and a half, um, one and three eighths by three and a half by uh, two and an eighth, I'd say. So that's the measurements. Three and a half, one and three eighths. Yeah, two, two and an eighth. That's the finished size. But like I said, if you're not going to buy this die, you can find boxes any place online and get the dimensions for all your scoring and stuff on there. I have a lot of boxes on my blog. I love to make boxes. I love to make little matching sets like this. So I have a Mother's Day card for my mom. I have a Mother's Day card from my mother-in-law because this is the first one I made. And now I have some more birthday cards. So that's pretty exciting, right? Okay, I told you guys that I would show you um, my mail. Okay, who wants to see mail? Then I have a ton, a whole bag full of spring Easter themed cards to share with you. So I'll do the cards first. Now, this was a swap with my team. Okay, and one of the fun things about being on my team is you get to swap with us. And what that means is you're going to come up with a design. Okay, you're going to design a card and then my helper, Kathy Miller, is going to tell you how many you need to make. And if you need to make 12, you're going to make 12 of this card and you're going to send it to Kathy. Kathy's going to swap it all out and you're going to get a whole pile of the theme of all different cards from everybody that participated in the swap. So it's super fun. Now, if you're on my team and you don't see your card in the ones I'm going to share with you tonight, do not fret. I pulled your card aside to do something else with it. And I always like the, um, the element of surprise. Oh, and somebody said Haley needs a Mother's Day card too. Oh, we'll make more, Vicki. Don't worry. I like to send thank you or Mother's Day cards to the girls too, so don't worry. And um, sometimes I'll send one to my sister-in-law. She doesn't have any kids, but um, she's got a fur baby and she deserves to be recognized on Mother's Day too. <laughs> okay, here we go. This one is from Vicki Edmondson. Vicki's on here tonight. I know that. Here is her beautiful swap card. I love the daisies and the daisy paper. Very pretty. Then we have this one. This is an Easter card, and this actually uses the Arranger wreath, and I'm not sure what other set, but that's where the little eggs come from. I almost used that tonight for uh, my card. This is Ruth Jarda made this one. So pretty. Then we have, this one is Pam Phillips, the Vine Design Bundle. That's in the um, Spring Mini Catalog right now. Beautiful, beautiful card. Then we have Kathy Miller made this one with that little lamb set. Isn't that just precious? Very pretty. And then we have Patty Skiba made this with that rainbow glimmer paper. Ooh la la. Woohoo! 
What stamp is the daisy from? This daisy, this is a punch, and it's just, um, it's our medium-sized daisy punch. So, oh, let me get Vicki's name back on here. Okay, here's that glimmer paper, Patty, and this is made with that succulent dye that's in the mini catalog. This is beautiful. Then we have Danny Garola. Look at how gorgeous this is. Oh my gosh, so pretty. This is that set of words that we have that's a whole die set. And then the ornate dies, beautiful, with the fine art floral paper that I used on my window card tonight. And then this one is from Judith Rodriguez. She always makes just the prettiest cards. Look at this. So this is, stands up like this. And when you mail it, it folds down flat. So this will flatten right out for mailing purposes, but look at the chicks and the grass and the flowers and all the things in there. This is called a panor I think it's called a panoramic card. Here's that happy Easter, happy spring, happy, happy everything. So that's still current. Here is the, oops, I think this fell off the back. Yep, hang on. Got to keep everything together. Sue Susan made this beautiful card. This is uses our bright or our in color. Magenta Madness um, Designer Series paper. And it's a gatefold. Very, very pretty. She's got some of our little enamel dots on these flowers, too. Beautiful. Then we have Kathy Shaming made this, and she used that gold foil from the um, Ornate Garden. And she just colored in a few of the flowers, and we thought that was really awesome. Love that. Then we have this beauty with the Tulip Builder Punch. Isn't that pretty? Some more in-color designer series paper. Love this. This is by Jan Fortin. And some of those butterfly embellishments. Very cool, Jan. Here is another one from Dawn Serwinski. What a beautiful difference one single life makes. Look at that. She did some masking technique to do this and then stamped over it. Very, very pretty. This one is Lisa De La Sandro. I love this. She punched out this layer and then put that circle in there to just fit right in there. This is just gorgeous. And then the inside, look at that. Yeah, very, very pretty. Then we have this one from Debbie Vischer. Look at how pretty that is. This is that iris set. I love that set. I need to get that out too. It's very pretty and easy to use. Then this one, this is exciting. This is Vicki Edmondson's granddaughter, Erin. I believe Erin is, I want to say 12 years old. She did the swap this month. Yeah, isn't that cute? Very, very cute. Good job, Erin. Then we have Dion Miller. This is really pretty. I love the bright colors. It just screams spring to me. Look at that. This is Dina's stamp set called Pretty Perennials. Very cool. Then we have Lisa Nealand. Look at how pretty this is with that butterfly brilliance bundle. Yeah, very, very pretty. Here comes another one from Deborah Wilson. I love this co these color combinations together. I think the pop on them is just really cool. Here's that sentiment that you were looking at. <laughs> Yvonne says, oops, he didn't mean to angry face. It happens, don't worry. <laughs> I've done it myself and it's like, oh my gosh, how do I take that away, right? Isn't this pretty? I love this, this is that In Bloom set. Here comes a fun fold from Joan Everard. Look at this. Again with the butterfly brilliance. Isn't that pretty? I love this. Absolutely gorgeous, Joan. Here's another one. This is Wendy Sue Winter. Woohoo! She's got that um that glimmery um I can't remember what it's called. What is that stuff called? It's like our old crystal effects. Stick, uh, I don't know what it's called, but anyways, she's got some Wink Estella on there. Absolutely beautiful. I love the three strips of designer series paper and the little enamel dots there. Beautiful. And here comes our last one. This is from D. Esplana. This uses the um, Hydrangea Hill Suite. Are you ready for this? It moves 
and then it does this. Oh my good lord. So this tucks in. See how it goes in there like that? Isn't that cool? Look at that. Wow, D. Very, very cool. Okay, you guys, that's it for swap cards for me. Let me put these back in the bag. Now, again, if you're on my team and you didn't see your swap in here, it's because I have your card scheduled for something else that I'm doing. So maybe I'm using it for a Facebook Live. I know that Jackie Blurch made a really pretty card and I used the layout and I used a picture of her card and then a layout, the layout in um, one of my blog hops that's coming up. So if you didn't see your cards in there, that's why. Don't panic. It's certainly not because I didn't like them. You know better than that. Um, gosh, this, I hope I can even get this, fit this in. Look at this. This is incredible. This is a purse made out of poster board and designer series paper. Some flower punches. She's got some brads in there, a little tag on there that says Queen Kelly. Look at how cute this is. Isn't it just amazing? This was dropped off by one of my team members, Lisa Clotes. And inside, first of all, I'll show you this little candy box that she made. I was thinking about doing one of these tonight, but I didn't. <gasps> Look at how cute this is. Ready? Look at those little strawberries, you guys. Those are like little heart candies. I wonder what they're. They're, are they dark chocolate? Oh my good lord, they are. And I'm hungry. Oops, it says hug someone today. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Oh, look at this little box. Is that precious? Yeah, so this was in there. And then, yeah, Bonnie, it's not called crystal effects though because we don't sell crystal effects, but we sell something that has the glitter in it. I just can't remember what it's called. We used to sell crystal effects. Look at this, this is what was in. Hang on, I gotta figure it out. There's a top here. Here we go, here we go. So she made this wind chime. Hang on. This just connects back on here. She made this wind chime out of like she called it camper silverware, like Goodwill silverware. She smashed the spoons flat. This is a fork with all the tines twisted up. Did all the beading on here. She put some cute little, like, um, what do you call these? Little tag things on the bottom. Super cute. And then listen to it. This, she said, to put this on to hang this on my summer home. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. And I almost took it up north with me this weekend because we were in my summer home, but I couldn't because I needed to share it with you guys. So yeah. Shimmery Crystal Effects, is that is that what it's called, Lisa? I didn't, oh yeah, Effects. Yeah, okay, thank you. But yeah, isn't this the coolest thing? This purse is just the bomb. And then it's got a little Velcro clasp here. Look at that. This is just the cutest thing ever. And she, she messaged me and said, I have something I'm dropping off. And I'm like, okay, I love your stuff that you drop off. I'm gonna put my wind chime back in there. I'm gonna keep my chocolate out. Mm, I'm hungry. Oh, okay, the rest of my mail. Hang on, you guys. I'm so sorry I forgot to do mail last time. So, here we go. This is from Diane Linford's. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful. It says, thank you very much for sending me the bow jig. She ordered a bow jig for me. Oh, I was gonna show you guys. I forgot to show you that too. Hang on, where is it? It's here someplace. Did you guys see the bow, the other bow tire that I have? Oh, here it is, right here. So, this is the thing that I put on my blog. Now, this is not a jumbo. A jumbo is bigger. But I wanted to show you how to use this. Let me grab some ribbon. Um, I'll grab 
this ribbon because it's a little bit wider. Whoops. Let's see if I can get one roll. Okay, so you'll get one of these free from me if you place a hundred dollar order, and I've had that going on on my on my website um, since the first of March, and tomorrow is the last day. If it's the fifteenth, it is. Tomorrow's the fifteenth. It's the last day. Hundred dollar order gets you a free bow maker. That's what these are called. Yours is going to be bigger. You're going to get a jumbo one. But here's the deal. So you start out by putting the end of your ribbon right here in this little in this little notch, okay? And then you decide how big you want your bow. So if you want a bigger bow, you're going to go all the way to the outside. You're going to put it in there and cross it over, okay? And now you're going to cut and you can put this down in here through the hole and then you're going to bring this back up in the center just like that and now you're going to take this and tie a single knot right here just like that and then you pull it off and you have a perfect little bow oops hang on Well, mine didn't turn out very good, but it does make perfect bows. <laughs> so that's how you do it, okay? Let me see if I can get it apart, and I'll do it again. Okay, so here's the bow maker, and you, you start right here. Hold on to your ribbon in that little notch. Decide how big. So I'm going to put it in here, bring it around here, bring it back here, cross it over, now you're going to push it down and bring it back up in the middle, just like that. Now we're going to take that out and tie it in a single knot, just like that. Make sure you get this nice and tight. And slip it off, and here's your bow. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's how it works, okay? All right, let's keep going here. This was from... Um, Joanne? Is that what I said? Oh. Yes, Loann. Yes, okay. Next, we have this one. Look at how pretty this is. Yeah, this is one of our paper pumpkin kits. And this was from Denise Deeney. She says, Kelly, thank you for all you do to make us happy. You work very hard. And, uh, yeah, I'm just having fun. I'm just having fun, too take these and pass the love around. So Denise, with her beautiful card, sent me some designer series paper and a bunch of stamp sets, like a lot of them, for me to share with you guys. And I will definitely be doing that. So I'll be giving those away to everybody. Denise, thank you so much. And of course, she didn't write in her card. She <laughs> wrote on a post-it note, so I can use that, right? My mama liked that too. Okay. Oh, look at this is just the cutest. Okay, are you ready for this? Oh my gosh, let me see if I can. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Oh, let me tell you who it's from first. This is from Janet Whalen. And look at this. This is that like grandparent stamp set. Look at how cute this is. Whoa, right? Whoa. What do I have going on back here? Oh, we got a little hitchhiker in there. Look at that. Grandchildren are the treasures of a long life. Is that not the most precious thing ever? Oops, hang on. Gotta get that back in there. And it pops out. What? Yeah, Janet, way to go. This is amazing. She says, thank you for the grandparent stamp set. Oh, I gave that to her as a gift. You are a wonderful person. You do so much for so many. I know how much your grandkids mean to you. And she says she has seven grandkids and seven great-grandkids and one great-great-granddaughter. She loves them all. Oh, that's so sweet. But look at how pretty that. Very pretty. This is a beautiful card, Janet. Thank you so much. Look at this fun one. This is from Eris Strine. Eris is one of my friends from Florida. Look at how cute that is. I love this with the chickens. Hey, chick. Thank you. And she says, thanks for drawing my name a couple of weeks ago. She loves the gold ribbon and the um, fast 
fascinated with the laser cut paper. So yeah, she got the laser cut paper, which is really cool. Eris, your card is super, super cute. Next we have, oh, look at this one. This is from Rhonda Hargett. Way to go, Rhonda. This was a layout that I shared with you guys not too long ago. Look at how cool that is, right? This is really neat. And it says, um, Kelly, I'm always behind, but I absolutely love these little pocket cards. Ah, oh, you're so sweet, Rhonda. Thank you for sharing yours with us. That is awesome. Then look at this one. So it's kind of funny because this is from Sherry Adams. And she says, I thought of you because of the amazing gift of the Punch Party stamp set you sent me in Happy Mail this week. Love this set and I can't wait to play with it. Thanks for sharing so many fun techniques and tips with me and all who follow you. In fact, this card was made after watching one of your amazing videos last year. And I do remember this. Way to go. I love it. She goes, have so much fun in Florida. Remember, I got these before. Well, I think I got this right when I got back from Florida. So, sorry I'm late. But thank you so much, Sherry. And this is coming to us from Marie and Marie Hudson, I believe. Your um, address got kind of, or your name got kind of smeared by the um, postal cancellation. Yeah, I think this is Marie Hudson. So here we go. Look at how pretty that thank you card is. Thanks for all the goodies. So let's see. Ta -ta -ta, she got in the mail. She had so much fun that night, even though, um, oh, Bingo. I think this was for bingo. Yes, you guys, I have another bingo coming up on March 24th, which is not this week, but the following week. Um, if you guys would like to get in on that bingo, again, you're going to find it on my blog. When you scroll down, look for online classes and click on that, you're going to find the bingo. Thank you so much, Marie, for that beautiful card. Look at how cute this is. This is from my friend Cindy that we just went and played with their maple syrup operation. And let me get this open. Look at how cute that is, right? She says, hi, Stephen Kelly. The joy of grandchildren is measured by the heart. Just felt you needed a card. I couldn't resist this set. Love being a grandma, right? I agree, Cindy. Oh, look at this. This is from Kimberly Milan. And she had an extra one of these and sent it for me to give away to you guys. So I will put that into my door prize bundle of products. Look at how stinking cute this is. Do you remember when we did this layout? This was from Patty Skiba. One of my team members shared this layout with me. And then I made a card using the donkeys. And she made a card using these cute little girls. Oh my goodness. Isn't that just the sweetest? Look at that. She goes, I just wanted to thank you for my gift um, you sent me from your Sunday Night Live. Also accidentally ordered an extra stamp set from Celebration. So you could use it to give away. Thanks for all you do. I think it keeps me sane. I am totally with you, Kimberly. Look at how stinking cute that is, right? Adorable. Yeah, and an envelope. Beautiful. Okay, you guys. I think that's it. I hope you have enjoyed your Sunday evening. Um, let me get that out of there. Thank you for sitting through all of my swap cards. I know you guys like to see those, right? I know I do. Here are the cards that we made tonight using the welcoming window. I have a kit class with that. Also the perfect parcels and the dies. Parcels and petals, I mean, and the, um, isn't it called the perfect, yeah, perfect parcel dies and the peta, parcels and petals stamp set. Very, very cool little box. There's a die right in with the set that makes this little box. You can decorate it up any way you want. Um, Cheryl, don't worry. You can watch the replay as soon as I hang up here. I want to check my phone and see. Oh, it's not too hot because Mary Lynn gave me that little fan. <laughs> Did I show you guys that little fan? Let me show it to you. It's really quite cute. So look at it. It, it hooks on to stuff. It can go... And it's plugged into my computer, my USB port, so I have it hanging right up here so it blows on my phone, so my phone doesn't overheat. So kind of funny. Mary Lynn gave it to me for my hot flashes. <laughs> I'm using it for double duty. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday evening. As always, I appreciate your orders. Thank you so much for supporting my, my um, 
my little business here in Menasha, Wisconsin, and I always enjoy spending my Sunday evening with you. Make sure you head over to my blog. You're going to find still photos of all of these. You're going to find a shopping list or just an ingredient list. It, it's both you know you can look through the shopping list and say oh she used Calypso coral ink or oh she used flirty flamingo bingo ink you're gonna find all of that stuff on my blog as soon as I get photos done and everything uploaded but thank you so much for spending your Sunday night with me I just I thoroughly enjoy spending the evening with you it's a great way to end your weekend and kick off your week right have yourselves a wonderful week I'll see you again next Sunday bye bye